G'day mates, welcome to Shattered, one of Sinkle's maps, and we're here back in round one once again to see Sausage Stab from Brisbane, Australia, going as German. He's got an elite MG squad. Very normal for him, but not usual for other players. He's a very unorthodox player, known for his strange buys, but he makes them work. Thompson from Sweden on the other end, going as USA with a regular squad, so a bit of a default matchup. We get to see how the Hmm, how the regular squad goes up against Elite MG, I'm sure that the M1 Garands will prove to be too much firepower for this small MG squad. See them fire away, looking very, very strong so far. See the MG's not doing too much damage from afar. Known for being very inaccurate from long ranges, but probably it might do okay once Thompson starts going to throw grenades. They'll really tear up the squads as they get up close and see uh, Thompson's really trying to push up his troops, get closer. Sausages has a nice uh, prone tactic here, which you can throw grenades, but no, Thompson's going to root him out. MG just needs to come out to just take a shot at that guy. And yeah, it does. Look how quick it tears up the troops. Oh, that guy too. So, they're not in cover. They actually did okay, this silly MG squad. Didn't do well, but it uh, did okay. So, it actually stood up to the regular squad charging him. But I guess eventually the shoot would have lost. But hits Thompson with a nice move coming from the left of the center to throw a grenade. Oh, he takes out two. 80 grenade. Oh, only gets the cover. Well, it doesn't matter. The M1 Garands have its back, so he should get the center shortly. So he just did cap that momentarily, but wow, that, that guy just got ripped to shreds as soon as he came out of the cover. Eastern point. Well, uh, looks like Sausage has tried, but uh, definitely outnumbered with a lot of uh, single buys. And on the western point. Uh, looks like Sausage is capping it with just one guy. So reinforcements of an assault squad from Thompson going to the roadway, perhaps uh, trying to reinforce this position. And Sausage has got an assault squad as well. He's coming sooner, uh, trying to get closer with his SMGs to firing range. Uh, oh, maybe to do okay actually. He's got a few guys up, now I can throw grenades up there, but uh, definitely Thompson does have the range. Grenade doesn't really do much. Lots of misses from both players. Oh, that was a horrible miss. Takes himself out. Uh, Thompson, wow, look at this. He's coming down from the center. Oh, from the road, you can actually get down there, interesting, through this area. So you don't have to use that ladder there. And he's going to flank this in a water move, look at that. So cool. Totally flanks the center. And now he's pushing off to take out uh, Sausage's troops in trench. And another buy from a regular squad from Sausage's in the background. But look at the MD, it's running away, getting shot pretty hard. But Thompson following up with the assault squad. There's too many. The MG's definitely going to be pinned down. All Thompson needs to do is throw a grenade and this guy's doomed. Does maybe he won't have to. Looks like he's just going to prone. Try to sneak out of there. Thompson with another flank of a few SMGs. Oh. <laughs> he died eventually. Now regular squad out in the open. Too much action. I want to talk about the players for a bit, but... Uh, <coughs> too much action going on. So he's just trying to get into a decent position. Gets his MG in a covering fire, but now wants to get closer to get more into the action. MG42 at close range is very deadly. Also following up the grenade. Uh, so Thompson is now going to cap the center. Looks like he's got a full regular squad also reinforcing the top. No, it's actually... Uh, I don't think it is. It's conscripts. <laughs> oh, nice. He bolstered the forces with conscripts. Uh, but a nice comeback from sausages in the center. Grenading his way in with the MG42 support. As on the eastern. Thompson is pushing up on this side. And sausages is also reinforcing with the sniper. And 30 cal squad from Thompson. Both players doing quite well in the timers. Uh, building them on the right moment. Though both these players are actually quite out of form. <coughs> Sausage is actually, at one stage of AS3 history, was the best player out there. Um, he was uh, the yeah the champion in the ladder for a while. Uh, beating Pringles three times in a row. The only player to actually do that, uh, I think, last year or the year before. But uh, really never stayed in form as he's moved on to other games at Call to Arms for some reason. He's probably the only competitive player in AS2 that's moved on to Call to Arms. Uh, he just likes it. And Thompson on the other end used to be very good at uh, Assault Squad 1 and Men of War. Uh, never really reached his form in AS2 but he's always a formidable player no matter what. So it's going to be quite an even matchup I think. Sausage is so out of practice. Uh, Thompson kind of not doing much practice either but he's always a good player. So. I don't know who's going to win this one. MG, nice. Thompson's known for his great uh, grenading skills and his smart play. Sausage is known for his unorthodox play <coughs> and his micro. 
And uh, Thompson, oh nice, he's gonna attack the western point and this one guy is definitely outnumbered. Uh, good to try this point as obviously Sausages never ever sent much guys there to uh, hold it. <coughs> Excuse me, still got that stupid cough. Uh, Panzer Grenadier squad. So this is interesting. It'll be quicker to reinforce the point. It's got an MG over here. And he's going to try to cap the Eastern point. He definitely needs a point. And Eastern is probably one of the ones he should attack. Not too much guarding. He's also got a sniper here. Can pick off that 30 cal. Definitely his priority. Thompson has a sneaky guy over here. And a Weber win by. What the hell? A Weber win by? Interesting. <laughs> So going to the right, uh, Eastern Point definitely has the uh, power. So Thompson can probably afford some sort of counter very soon. Him on Garands and BAR, it's a regular squad. But the oh, look at that. Hits a tank. A fuel tank, and oh, look at that slaughter. <laughs> look at that. Six riflemen fouled in a single blow from the Wibberwind. And the regulars are forced to move back. Panzer Grenadiers now taking the flags, stopping the three cap uh, to make it to uh, 21 to 10. Thompson leading, no counter coming for the Wibble yet. Uh, also, he's moving his guys to the left hand point. He's already got the Eastern now pushing his pressure onto the center, which is a good play. Uh, Thompson has lost his guys in the top area and is actually holding down below, which is uh, pretty pretty okay. But he's gonna get flanked maybe from this side too. It's safe in the Wibble window down below, and also the guys coming down will get shot up. So that's what's, what's make that's what makes it really hard to get into the center point in Shattered, other than going through the other routes of the sides. But Thompson really pressuring pressuring uh, sausages. As you can see he's infesting the nooks and crannies of the buildings. Got the M1 Garands over here, and uh, kind of a few guys in here. 30 cal, which is not in a firing position, <laughs> fortunately. Uh, this is going to slow down sausages. As you can see, his energy is wasted on trying to grenade these guys off, and he's too scared to move the wibble in because these guys could have 80 guns or so, 80 infantry, or could have a grenade. They're just riflemen, so I shouldn't worry. But he doesn't know that because I have the fog of war unticked. Just got to remember, guys. These guys are looking blind, so they need infantry to move up and to see what's in front. And here they come. So, um. Hmm, what's changed from Germany? Well, it's a bit of a lull. Oh, M119. Interesting buy. This uh, M119 has actually increased in accuracy and uh, increased in price in the latest patch coming out. But at this stage, it's not. Two of them buying very interesting buys that we don't usually see these quite often. The Wibblewing, good for its armor below, but it's got a weak turret, uh, but a very good fire rate. So, really, <laughs> practically, it always gets turreted before it gets to do much damage, but it can go back and repair and survive instead of. Um, uh, usually with the looks in 2 to 2 when you get countered, you get countered, but this one you get uh, disabled. That's a bit more expensive. Wow, we're going through the house. The M19 is take, taking a shot. It's got a good side shot on it. It has a turret and main gun. And it could potentially hull damaged it, I think, from this range. Instead of aiming for the infantry. And there goes some Brandenburgers, including... Oh, MG34 survives. I can still see that icon. Now it's definitely the king of the field now. Thompson still has a few guys behind uh, the enemy lines to spot. I can see a buy of a Panzer III from Sausages coming in the back. If we can counter the M19. So, <clears throat> with Germany, the new Germany, they do have greater Panzer Grenadiers, which come with MG42s. They do have a few other options. Uh, the Hetzer's not probably good at this map. And I think the other ones, the, the 1C might actually be good down below. But that's uh, probably more for team games for 50-50s. Um, there's a bit of a theory going around, guys, that in the next patch, the big AS2 patch, which was announced, I think, a few weeks ago, because um, Call to Arms have this new feature coming out, which is going to introduce new nations, and it's going to allow players on the same team to choose different nations. And a lot of features from Call to Arms are being pulled to AS2, and I think potentially, uh, potentially, that uh, AS2 might get those features. Be great if it does. Imagine a World at War tournament with a 2v2 World at War tournament with France and Ge France and UK, Germany and Japan. Wow, How, what complexity is this? It's going to be. It's already so complex. And imagine adding the nation combos to the mix. Oh, strategy overload. I'll be. I'll be basically jizzing my pants once that comes out. 
very very orgasmic uh, feature if that was to be I will kiss Instinct's feet and um, yeah take take my negative review down basically that happens yep you you, you had it first here <laughs> um, M19 going to the left pounding away so Tussie just uh, sticking with a few Brandenburgers got the MG34 M19 is targeting has taken out the MG34 and coming up with conscripts assault squad only to the left uh, looks like uh, P3 is moving on to the left too, trying to intercept it somehow, maybe get a shot. It's quite hard to really take a clear shot. There's so many buildings blocking, M19 reversing to try avoid that. But got to be careful, Sausage, as you can see, has no line of sight right now. He's just trying to go for it, but can't. And the problem with the P3 is it has to always face forward. Because if it turns its side, it's, it's dead instantly with the M19. And it could be a problem. It's not very... Uh, it's a very good map to have these uh, auto cannons in, to be honest. Nice. P3 coming in, but uh, let's see what happens. Oh, the side's exposed. Still. Oh! Wow. Through the little window, I guess. Uh, yeah. I don't know if that was the AI or it was Thompson controlling it, but uh, very nice through the arc, then the window. Unfortunately for Saucy, just didn't expect that to be able to fire at him till later, but here's the croc anyway. Probably would have been countered by the croc. M19 now going to the western. It's quite precarious to hold from Thompson. So she just has a good sneak on the corners. This area of Shattered has a little alleyway there which is quite uh, quite on its own where troops can sneak down. <coughs> the clock's going to put away that wibble in. You can see how long it was disabled for and it's still disabled. Taking up CP so that's pretty much why the wibble win is not a usual buy. Though uh, yeah, can prove useful if it's a uh, if it's put into the right situation without getting countered. Panzer 4G, ooh, 50, 50 stars. Great gun, 50 millimeters worth of armor that can get penetrated by the M19 at certain ranges and definitely from the side. And also the croc will, croc I believe has a better chance versus it due to its lower hull being stronger than a normal Sherman. Let's take a look in an interesting buy of a paratrooper call. It's a three pointer special, Paris. <laughs> Oh, shit. Oh, look at that. Just missed so lucky. It's expensive, man. Three pointers. It has changed in the mod, by the way, these three pointers to make it a bit more useful. They come out a lot earlier than the other three pointers, you can see. A lot earlier. <laughs> uh, which gives them a bit of a rushing uh, rushing strategy. Uh, the reason why you buy them is to rush and keep the pressure on. Uh, the German ones also have, uh, so all nations have an additional 80 infantry to them. And also, um, they, the German ones have STG-44, uh, replacing some of the rifle guys, so, or the sorry, MP-40 guys. So it's not a bad buy now, I think, for certain situational, but I don't know about this situation, they're finding an M19, and it doesn't discriminate, it's just going to nom 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 expensive troops, regardless of their hit points and abilities. Feel them getting pinned down, miraculously none dying, grenade from Thompson. M19 still take, trying to take out the... Oh, what a shot! Panzer 4G be... Wow. Didn't expect this house, especially on this angle, went through the, here. The two balls on angle and ticked, exploded the M19. Very nice. Now half track can go push in. Take the western point. In the meantime, though, I can see a bit of a move from Thompson. He's going to ignore this flag. Doesn't want to go 50-50 on the G. He's going to use the croc to assault this area. There isn't actually much holding it, so... I think uh, it'd definitely be taken regardless of the croc coming here. But he doesn't know that sniper over here from Sausages. <clears throat> Half track, used quite well. Has rooted out all Sausages' troops, sorry, Thompson's troops. And he can just run in there. Panzer Shrek's gonna do very well on this map, I think. They're moving into the center. STG 44 blazing now. Rangers, MG. G43 with the scope. Now they've pushed out that flag and the western point can be taken by sausages, which he is right doing right now. Whilst the eastern point has been totally overkilled. I think it's not yet a sniper died from the croc. Wow. Sniper died. Sausages unfortunately had his attention elsewhere. And wasn't unable to micro that sniper away. Now here is a Brandenburger squad. No, it's a regular squad. Oh, another change in their mod is the Germans do have a Panzerfaust on their squads due to their historically availability and also Germans are quite known to be quite a, a bad nation in 1v1 so they just need a little bit of a boost just in case 
And this adds to the theme of being a defensive meta nation, which has always been the case since release. Let's take a look. He's going to the center point. Now, nothing really guarding it. Just one guy. Let's see if this guy does anything. He's facing the wrong way, unfortunately. He's going to get rifle to the face. Bam. Rifle to the back. Uh, Thompson. Wow, what an interesting gameplay. It's uh, <laughs> not fighting. It's fighting now from the sides. The Crocs also in this position too to come into the buildings. It's quite dangerous as you can see ambushes could happen, but Sausage doesn't have anything here. Be nice to see some paratroopers of the Panzerfaust come over that side. Here comes a Croc though. Unopposed. There is no Shrek. Oh, there is a Panzerfaust though, remember? Remember the squad leader? Potentially. He's, oh, he's going to do it. No, uh, Thompson is running away, but he's in danger. This uh, squad might, Panzerfaust guy could go into the sides. Oh, even it's going so far. He's going to run into the sides. Thompson does have a few guys. One guy here of tank crew. Thompson knows he's flaming this area, expecting... Yeah, it's... it's it. <laughs> expecting a guy. Is he dead? <laughs> he's on fire, I think. Is he? No. I don't know. Is he going to come out the fire? No, he's dead. <laughs> nice uh, anticipation from Thompson. Now, going to push in further, keep the pressure on. Now, Sausages has got the flag point. 75 to 11, there was a big, big tick up from Thompson due to the three cap for a while. Here comes that uh, FT-42. Interesting sandbag. What the hell? He just vaulted over his own sandbag when it wasn't built. Huh. Strange. What the hell? He's got the Fury as well. Interesting, interesting, interesting. That's true. Wow. He's going all tanks today. Croc. Gonna cut off this area very dangerously. <laughs> uh, exposed from the side though. What was that? Th ah, Thompson has destroyed the little wind for good so it can't be repaired. Assault squad coming in. Thompson still has a lot of troops in this area here. This is fantastic infantry play, I must say. Very out of the ordinary, using all areas of the map, which, is, uh, this is, which I think is fantastic. It's not just one area slugfest, as you can see in the default maps. This is one of the reasons why you don't play uh, it's shit to play default maps, especially in matchmaking and all that crap. It's a totally different game. This makes the game more strategic, more tactical, more fun, less stupid. Oh, Panzerfaust, and this is a three-pointer special buy. It does come into effect, as you can see. It's doing okay. It's definitely made its money's worth already, taking out the three-pointer special croc, also on the German side of the bridge or railway. And that means the croc can be repaired by sausages if he wishes to overrun this area. Fury. Haven't seen this used well in a tournament yet. It's been used, but not well. <laughs> Hasn't really found anything to counter. Oh wow, it's accurate though, it's bloody damn accurate for a 76, as you can see, it AP sniped the MG right there. <coughs> it's going to continue to try to do some more, look at it, it AP sniped another MG. So maybe Fury is the AP sniper of the future, I don't know, we'll see. Five special points though, it's expensive. <coughs> Comes out earlier than other five special pointers though. Sniper, from sausages, in the backfield doing okay. Oh, what the hell? Sneaky guy from Sausages in this crater. Ooh, good go. Take that. Wow, it's got a nice sneaky rat straight to that fury. Oh, wow, this guy's got to see. Oh, he shouldn't have moved. If he didn't move... Oh, he still... Ah, oh, if he didn't move... Different story. That would have been totally... That would have been almost... Uh, wow, a GG. Because that's such an expensive unit to lose to just a Panzerfaust. Wow, that was lucky, Thompson. I think Sausage does have a few more sneaky guys. He snuck in from this alleyway at the start. And he's going going there with this guy. <laughs> Erwin Kruger. Some mm, some conscripts coming to the western point. They're just going to get... Uh, what the? Okay. Half-track is, is facing the wrong way, though, so... There is a... Uh, yep, there is a paratrooper that spots him. So now here comes that uh, half-track to clear up. Reloading its end. You should have reloaded before you get to battle, mate. Oh, here he goes. Bam, 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 bam. Look at that clear up. Four conscripts. Oh, this guy is getting. I think he just got killed. <coughs> Center. Thompson has managed to cap it back. Now, Sausages has lost all the MGs up here because of that Fury. Panzer G going to the left. Fury is still in the position. Want to see some duels happening? Panzer G versus Fury. The Falsham Jäger. Not really used aggressively, they're just still hanging around the backfield behind the houses. 
Well, Panzer G is really going back uh, for some reason. Sausages though is trying to advance onto the eastern point. He's got just a regular squad. And I think that's all he needs with conscripts holding it. Thompson's power, I guess, is wasted on or used up, I mean, with the M19. And he's got two medium kind of, kind of tanks taking up his CP, but here's a Brandenburger. Take a shot or not. Oh no! Thompson! Thompson's lost his M19, that's pretty expensive. <laughs> At 425, Fury's coming up, running away. He, he's pretty scared, I think. I think he probably knows that, uh, or probably is guessing that Sausage just has a few more sneaky fellas around. Let's have a look at this bug. Regular squad coming in from Thompson, just trying to scout the area, rid the area from Brandenburg. Is the <coughs> he doesn't know where they are. Eastern Point has been reinforced by some riflemen. Um, not much to assault them. Sausages got a, some Falsham Jaegers here, which are getting uh, some regular squads guys as well. It's getting pinned down. And this uh, Falsham Jaeger guy on hold fire can't uh, return fire. But here maybe the 50 50. <coughs> Definitely put the money. Oh, the side's kind of exposed. The side. Oh, not really anymore. I'll definitely give the Sherman. Oh, 2 to 2 to the Sintel. Didn't even know that existed. Very accurate. Misses the first shot. Panzer G not returning the shot yet. Look how fast it reloads. Oh, it's the. Oh, crew injured. And, yep, it's down already. Definitely uh, was going to the favor of the Fury regardless, but uh, a nice effort from Sausages in a range where it could have penetrated, just uh, didn't have much luck in that engagement. The accuracy of the Fury, obviously, and the reload speed and the penetration prevailed there. Does that look, I look like Brad Pitt? Definitely should be modding uh, a Brad Pitt skin or something. Speed for laughs. <coughs> regardless of whether you think it's uh, the ac historical accurate, doesn't matter, it's just for gameplay, a bit of fun. You can, that's why <clears throat> it's not called Brad Pitt, it's called, uh, I think it's called Veteran Sherman or something, I don't know. Just imagine it as a Veteran Sherman crew. Panzer H versus Fury, oh. It seems like Sausage is actually giving uh, the Fury units to counter. Not too sure. What's happening here? Definitely put my money on the Fury in this engagement once again. Fury's even trying to fire shot to the turret. Thompson's trying still. What the hell is that shot all about? The Swede, looking to still be on form, is uh, quite an old fella. A software engineer, I believe, uh, on not just a normal software engineer, guys. He's a bloody. He works on software for a jet fighter in Sweden. They do make jet fighters, I believe, so. And on the other end, also a computer scientist who's studying at university. Computer science. Both of them the I guess logical thinkers, you might say. They, they, they know what to do. They're smart fellas. And, wow. Goliath? Okay. That's a, one of the features of the mod. Definitely... Uh, where is it? <laughs> I find it. There it is, Goliath. 150 MP. It's relatively cheap, as you can see. And... That's good that he bought it, so maybe it is viable. I'm gonna try to take out the cover here. I think it's gonna be okay. This is just Rifleman, so this is a perfect uh, location to send it, to be honest. Moving in. Oh, half track from Thompson. 50 cal has moved in from the far left. Sorry, I didn't see that maneuver, but that was a pretty good one. Looks like, looks like it cleaned. Cleaned the center. Goliath. Boom! Baby. <laughs> They're all on fire. Not really. That uh, decline of the hill really blocked a lot of the explosions. As you can see, that wall is actually still up. It just took out five riflemen. It wasn't actually worth it, but uh, it allowed to him to get the flag at least. Wow. It's funny how the explosions actually centered at the bottom. I don't know if that's real in real life. And all the top parts above the above the crater doesn't actually get damaged. See, the walls are still up. <coughs> I don't know. Just the way it works in Men of War Physics. Mr. Fury going to the left hand side. It's going to try and make a breakthrough on the west. Can definitely do so. Sausage is lacking a lot of forces in the center and on the west. Moving a lot in between the eastern and the center. 
Half track is waiting for them though. He doesn't have much to counter. That uh, H is quite powerless because of that uh, decline. So Panzerfaust on this guy though. Ooh, sausages does notice. And let's have a look at this shot. Boom! Nicely placed. Wow, that's definitely filled that uh, railway with smoke. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting. This is going to be a, a very hard game to analyse. I really don't know what was, what's, went, what went wrong. Both players seem to be playing very well. Nothing particularly pointing out at me that uh, this is why someone lost the game or won the game. It seems neck and neck so far. Both of them struggling. Lots of good plays by both. <coughs> Fury being very safe at this stage. Weston still hold, held 35 to 91. Uh, Thompson just needs another flag. Uh, which way is he going to go? He's going to go to the eastern point, but potentially now fight off that H. Where's that H over here? Got to take a pot shot at the turret, perhaps. Nope. Fight. Ooh, here it goes. Here it goes. Ooh, we're trying to shoot that G. He's kind of blocking it, though. Oh, to get the G uh, instead. The G. Oh, it's got the shot in the turret now. The G no longer blocks, and that's crew injured. Oh, that's... And may escape. <laughs> Bit hard with that uh, G in the way. Thompson choosing not to fight this battle is going to withdraw. MGs of the Paris squad moving up. And the Paris are holding the center. So decent hold for Sausages at the moment. And he could be okay for now. But Thompson now is going to try to grenade his way in. I don't think Sausages is watching. Uh, Walt's right in here. I've got a few guys. Oh, there's quite a few. This rifle's one of them napping. Taking cover. Very accurate guys, though. Oh, why are they taking cover now? They need to be participating. I guess the Fury is out. Can destroy the cover with his HE shells. Panzer H is moving up, too. Look at that angle, though, from Thompson. It's angled using the terrain, as you can see. Very interesting. <laughs> Very sloped. Don't know how much I can't calculate that on top of my head. But it's uh, increased armor. Oh, it's striked! But in a great position. And it's easily main gun and turreted that H. So, yeah, not too bad. Turned out well for Thompson. Now he's actually in the center flag. He can support the assault with the Fury while this guy has to repair. But I think uh, he's going to try to take a side shot through the house and be knocked down the house. I don't know if that's possible. Are these entities that can be destroyed? There are some entities that can't. The paratrooper. I'm going to try flank. Oh, that's a pretty slow grenade. M19. Wow, Thompson with the M19 combos. Sherman's and M19s. Interesting. We don't see this uh, often at all. Du -du 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 -du. Reload rate has increased as well from the mod. <coughs> has proven to be okay. Uh, but wow, three, what the hell? Three cap sausages, 81 to 91. Jeez, that was nearly a GG. Wow. 84 to 90. I didn't realize how fast it was ticking up. This is closer, closer than uh, what I expected. <laughs> Swede now is now stopping the cap in the center. Uh, M19 is now coming to the left. So she just does have a lot of troops around, so that M19 or USA is in trouble. How he's going to cap a fight? I guess the western point is pretty much easy to be capped. The rest, no. Oh, half track. This is, this is a good one. Western point, there's nothing stopping it. Half track and sweep. This may work for Thompson. And he needs a flag soon. 90 to 91, sausages almost even. Yep, now they're even, but still ticking up. What the hell is this guy doing? He's ducking undercover to no one. They gotta fix that bug, man. Seriously. Stupid blue line. Um, <coughs> I should integrate the fix to my mod, actually, next patch, to be honest. There's a, there's a guy that fixed it in one mod. I'll just put the mod in my mod. Perhaps. Oh, capping with the tank crew. Uh, 94 to 91. Wow. Very close in score. H is repaired. Let's see this. Nope. Fury is not in the range. Thompson's going to stick 
to capping these two flags. Perhaps he can. He's got the half track here. Sausage so doesn't have anything else. He has yet to hold. He's trying to move on to the center through this. These guys. Hmm. <coughs> Probably center is actually his best bet. He just needs more infantry. The croc is out too unrepaired. He could definitely charge out all the way to the western point, I think. 94 to 91. He's still quite fast. So. Some tankery coming, I think. Yep, it's going to move to the tankery, then probably swing away here to the west and take it. Furious, sure, quite different to the hard track. He moved all the way back too. He just wants to save it and make sure he has it available later to use. And let's have a look. 30 minutes in. Scores are almost even. What a great game. We'll see the croc charge. So she does have three special points. Like, potentially at this stage of the game, this he's just got to spend it. Like, he's got CP2 for it, maybe even the white 1Z, just go nuts, to be honest. Just 1Z down this line, at the same time with your H and Croc, that Fury won't be able to withstand that punishment. <laughs> so he's going for the center, going to support. There's a, uh, don't know if the Sherman Fury can shoot to there, is that a uh, little gap? Let's take a look. Thompson's going to try for it. There's so many guys down the bottom too, you can see Thompson. Those guys closer, but here is the croc, will do well, oh, what's it going to do, it's going to fall off the edge, oh no, it just gets stopped by the ridge, wow, rocks were flying, <coughs> Fury is firing too, 96 in, he needs a point now, where's the squads, oh, there's no squad to follow up, there's only a few guys, a few paras coming in, oh no, this guy, oh, the guys are down here, stopping him all, oh, 97, Fury, oh, Fury fell down the ledge and nearly tipped over, it's so precarious though with the sight, and Tom's- Oh, Sausage just needs more time, main gun damage from the Fury. He hasn't got any infantry support. Oh, if he only had- He's got the special points. He had the points, he just didn't spend it, and 99-0. Thompson snuck in the victory there by some clutch conscript play down the center. Wow, good game, well done to the Swede. He wins the first game of the best out of three.